Namaste, my dear friends. For a mentoring process to work, for a spiritual process to work, my father always used to say that a heart-to-heart -heart relationship between the teacher and student is very, very essential. He was saying that without this, there can be no spiritual evolution, neither for the student nor for the teacher. And he's not alone in saying this. Even the great Patanjali talks about this. Nirmana chittani asmita matrat. In the fourth chapter, when Patanjali is talking about transformation, Patanjali is talking that we have to open our heart and share this heart-to-heart -heart relationship between the teacher and the student, between the care provider and the care seeker, so that there is a transformation process. In yoga and many spiritual traditions, the transformation is coming from within us. It's not coming from outside. Even though we are using certain tools like asana, pranayama, mantra, meditation, etc. They are not external tools. They are tools that are creating change inside of us. And for that we need to keep our hearts open. Now what tool is needed? When this tool is needed will only be determined when somehow we can look deeply inside ourselves. And that is what is a challenging process because very often it is difficult for us to look at ourselves because there is the obstacle of the ego. That is why in the spiritual processes they are always asking for the guidance of a teacher or a counsellor or a care provider to exist because it's always easier for another person to see our patterns than ourselves. When we are stuck in the mud, it's very difficult for us to see that we are stuck in the mud. When we are stuck in our patterns, it's very difficult to see that we are stuck in our patterns. That's why we need a teacher with whom we can have an open heart-to-heart -heart relationship where we can feel that we are ourselves, we can be vulnerable and safe at the same time and that's where the heart-to-heart -heart relationship is so critical because when there is a heart-to-heart -heart relationship it's both the teacher and the student who are opening their hearts it's not just one person that's the greatest misconception that many people have that the teacher's heart can be closed but the student's heart has to be opened that's not possible my friends a heart-to-heart -heart relationship is a flow of energy between two open hearts and that is very very critical and that's why my father always used to insist on this heart-to-heart -heart relationship to exist between the teacher and the student what is also important to remember my friends and this is where we cannot compare our relationship with our teacher with another's relationship with our teacher because there are different establishments that can happen between the teacher-student relationship in different contexts. Patanjali also says this, Pravritti bhede prayojakam chittam ekam anekesham. One heart of the care provider may be the same, but the care seeker's hearts are different. Each student will have a different kind of emotional structure different kind of patterns, different kind of subconscious structures. And that's why it's very important that we don't assume that we will have the same relationship with our teacher and that there will be different forms that will take when we have a relationship with a person where the heart is open. When you look at children and their parents, the mother has a very deep heart-to-heart -heart relationship with all her children. But each child is different. So the mother will have very different relationship with her children. My mother has a very different relationship with me compared to my brother, compared to my sister. Even though it's the same mother, we are all different. The same way, the teacher-student relationship also will be unique and must not be compared. That will be a great mistake. 
So my friends, find a good teacher with whom you can open your heart and who can open a, their heart to you and be safe, be vulnerable and open the deep doors to your transformational journey. You will not regret it, my friends. You will benefit it, benefit from it so greatly. Namaste, my dear friends.